We asked Sylvia what she thought was the most important difference in East German life after the wall fell. What was the, uh, what was the biggest difference um, before and after? Before when, when that was there and what, what was the thing, what, what was the most important? I mean we talk about all these things and some of them are important to some people and some, yeah. but what was the most important thing? Oh, there was, there was an immense hope, you know, and, and it's kind of, they opened the cage and then what do we do now? This feeling, you know, we didn't really know, it's, oh, we want to be one, one nation, and we wanted to do the, they wanted to do the, the, the best of both, kind of combine it and go together slowly, but it didn't happen, history just rolls, you know, you, you can't hold it, it just goes its own way, so it went really quick and then, and or traveling, we wanted to travel, and you know they, they did in December. When I don't know the date exactly, it must have been the tenth or eleventh of December. And they did when they had the they torn the border down and they they torn all the um, the guard towers down and, and the barbed wire and all that. And they had a, a trip, and, and the western part they paid like a welcome money, hundred uh, hundred uh, German mark for every person. And, and uh, the farm said, okay, we gotta go see that. Chartered a bus, went over there, like four hours or five hours, I don't know. And the Audubon was full, plucked. Everybody went there. They wanted the money. They wanted to go shopping. Wanted to see. <coughs> and I was there, and um, there was a the West German um, customs officer, and he looked at my my passport there and said, "Oh, you have a, a little cat. Why didn't you bring it? He would get the money too." And I said, "Oh, you know what? He's only 16 months. Yeah, I don't want a long trip. It's gonna be too too hard for him." I left him at home, and he said, "Oh." I, Lots of people do it. You're the only one that doesn't do it. I <laughs> said, <laughs> so do I feel bad you? But, but, and you know, you could see, like, you get like the... Um, so, but the it was a welcoming stuff. feeling. Though. Oh, yeah. yeah it was I mean, very it was welcome not, yeah. and very ecstatic. They were really friendly. And, you know, they uh, in Berlin, they gave flowers to the border guards and stuff and when the wall opened. And people dancing in the street and champagne bottles all over. It was a huge party. And then they had the huge concert after. It was just, just incredible, like... Like international, that big feeling, it's kind of something really moved, the history really moved, you know, you know something moves but you don't know what direction. But all the pressure and all the fear was gone, like the fear, are they going to shoot, and that, that was the worst thing, you know, and this was all gone of a sudden. Sure, so, sure, sure. Uh, do, do you um, resent at all the time spent that, that your, your country was in that situation? Well, it wasn't a bad way to, to go up, we were safe there, you know, you didn't have to worry about like, kids' abductions and stuff, it, it happened really rarely because they couldn't go anywhere, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that all changed after, when, you know? But otherwise, you know, we were able to, to travel where we wanted, and we could, we could say what we wanted. It was kind of the, the freedom of speech was really important. What is the lesson for you that you take away from that? from that era and that tremendous historical moment? I think that the importance is uh, that, that the kind of the war kind of between the two systems, it kind of got broken down there and it, this period ended and the people on both sides didn't need to worry about the Russian missiles, about the, the guns from the other side and and it, to me it, it showed you can't just put people in walls and you, you can't suppress the freedom for a long time. It works for a certain time, but it won't work forever, you know. And someone, the people want to go where they want to go. That's well, nuclear arms are still in production, and and you know there's some new concerns now. There's not two balances now. There's one. Yeah, on on any place, yeah. it's oh, this is a big concern. All these weapons of mass de mass destruction are bad things, and they shouldn't even be developed. Does the story of the reunification of Germany, does that bring hope to you when you think about world things, Israel and Palestine and North Korea, South Korea, does that inform? Oh, I think it showed the world that it can be done without weapons and without violence and, and if the people just get up and voice their opinion loud enough then even the most dictatorial government will fall. They, they can't just go so much, they're nothing without their people and they, they won't recognize it till the people get up and tell them. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, okay. Sylvia, <laughs> okay. what a pleasure. I